Hello guys, so in the last video I have discussed about the grey images and uh, RGB images. Now I will move forward towards the convolution neural network which is a kind of uh, a neural network which are basically used for images in computer vision where you have different kind of problems uh, which we will learn later and uh, it's like object detection or it's like object segmentation uh, you have to detect what kind of objects are there inside the image then you use uh, typically convolution neural network mm. so we will go step by step and we see that what kind of layers are there in the neural network of convolution neural network so basically if you see uh, this so basically we have these kinds of layers so you fed the image input image which can be a gray image or it could be a 3d image which is rgb then you perform different kind of operations which are called layers and these layers create two dimensional uh, maps or three dimensional feature maps so one kind of layer is convolution uh, layer second is pooling layer different kind of poolings are available different kind of uh, uh, convolution uh, filters are available for different purposes what we want to achieve uh, in the final layer output so and uh, one is fully connected layer so one is softmax and different kind of activations are there along with softmax there is relu tanh so it is just a broad line of uh, what kind of layers we typically have in convolution neural network uh, so you have input you have uh, you get the output inside them you have different kind of combinations of layers and these layers could be convolution layers pooling layers fully connected layers and different kind of activations could be there and different kind of combinations can be the activations can be coming in between convolution and pooling as well so it depends on the problem which we are trying to solve so these are the layers which i have talked which we will discuss uh, step by step in the first uh, uh, discussion we will first discuss about what is a convolution layer what operations do we do in an image to get a convolutional feature map so if you see here so this is the input image on the left hand side you see the input image which is 5 cross 5 you see there is 1 1 1 1 1 wherever you have 1 that means there is complete uh, brightness and then 0 is complete darkness you can say and now what you, these are the pixel intensities in, in, in a sense you can say that so now it is black and white image it's it's pure black and white image and it is a 5 cross 5 and it is just for demonstration purpose how do we do the convolution on the input image so we take some kind of filter and the filter matrix we take some kind of filter matrix it is also a two dimensional kind of thing it is a just a step by step you have to see that this is a two dimensional image so for that we are using a two dimensional filter matrix we will go move forward towards the 3d rgb image then there will be different kind of filter matrix but just for a uh, basic understanding of what is convolutional operation here you see that this is input image and this is filter matrix which is three by three what you do in convolution is you take this matrix and then move along this complete image and then you do the multiplication so if you put this one filter matrix and put at the edge of this you will see something like this downside so one is this zero zero one one zero one 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 and these are multiplied by the corresponding values of this filter matrix so one times one 1 times 0, 1 times 1, 0 times 0, 1 times 1, 1 times 0, 0 times 1, 0 times 0 and 1 times 1. And then you add these all values. If you add all these values, you get 4. Then what you do is you move ahead this matrix from here to here and then you do it from here to here. Similarly and you do it in a raster scanning like this across the whole image if you move a step one step at a time 
then that is a stride of one. If you move two steps at a time, that is stride of two. We will discuss about that a stride and pad in this one thing which we will discuss later. But if you do this kind of operation, you get this feature map after the convolution. After the convolution operation, you see this. So if you now one uh, application, if you want to understand why do we do convolution, so you can understand by one example, which is called edge detection. You have an image and there is one edge. You have complete darkness and then suddenly uh, complete brightness comes in. So you have an uh, edge there. So if you see in the left hand side, you have an image. This is zero, zero, zero. All these pixels are zero and then suddenly all these uh, pixels are uh, bright this is five 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 so what you do is you use a filter matrix in such a way that you create this feature map on the right hand side if you see on the right hand side you get an edge in between 15 15 all these are bright it tells that there is a feature uh, there is an edge around this position so there is darkness on the left hand side there is darkness on the right hand side in between you get an edge so this is kind of edge detection and what kind of filter map you would be using you you will be using one 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 and minus one one minus one minus one minus one on the right hand side so what you are trying to do is whatever is bright you are making it bright brighter by multiplying by one 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 and in between you are putting a zero if there isn't any edge so there should be, uh, uh, there will be detection of an edge. So if you do this thing and put it here across this, you will see that uh, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, you multiply with these corresponding cells as before, you will see that you will get values here, 0, here. And then if you move across this, from here till here when you move a stride of one then you will get certain value like 15 and then you then you move ahead and again you get 15 and then when you come again in the gray scale uh, gray Im image this this fourth this matrix then again you get the zero likewise so if you do it across the whole input image you will get this feature map which is suggesting that there is some edge in between. So in the next video, I will be discussing more about the pooling and so on. Thank you.